here I have a model pulled up that I modeled completely in BricsCAD using my existing knowledge. It's, a, it's completely solid. There's no BIM, no intelligence added yet, just, just solid geometry. And um, you can see here I've got a field in there that's displaying the file size. Now, I, I feel like I did a pretty good job modeling this. I'm, I'm very accurate, and I don't like sloppy modeling or drawing. Um, but if I look at the structure browser, again, I'm going to repeat a few of the tools that I talked about previously, but now in 3D. Emphasizing that point that I made in the earlier part of the presentation, where you really can take the tools and the knowledge that you have, even if you work completely on 2D, take those same tools and knowledge and um, experience and apply it to 3D and just keep going as you add more and more functionality to the software, moving up to BIM or, or uh, mechanical. So here, again, this is just a, a solid model. I think I did a pretty good job. But looking at that structure panel, I can uh, see here, if I look at the different types of entities, I've got a whole lot of solids, just plain solids. And then I've got a few block references. If you're not sure what they are, you can click on the whole category. You can click on specific ones. You can even zoom in and display or isolate just those ones. Um, what I want to do, like, if, this is great for cleanup. If I look at these lines, this is a 3D model, so I'm not quite sure why I have line geometry in here. But again, on an individual basis or by category, I can show, hide, and isolate. I can zoom into those lines. I, I'm going to go ahead and isolate, or yeah, isolate them. And very quickly, I can just see what they are, and I'll erase them. Now, if I go back to these solids that I have, and these block references, again, I'm going to use that wonderful Blockify tool. And instead of selecting specific geometry or insertion points, uh, what I want to do is, oh, let me unhide everything. So here I've got my model. And um, I'm just going to use that wonderful Blockify tool, again, seeing how it works great in 3D as well. Instead of entering any other information, I'm just going to take the defaults, which, which say, look at the entire model and find anything that's, that's grouped that are similar instances. And this model, this is actually a duplex. So when I modeled it, I just did the right, the right side. I did modeled this whole part, and then I mirrored it and moved it into position. So I would expect that I've got at least two of every object. But I wasn't too concerned when I modeled it, even though I like to be very careful and, and efficient with my modeling. I wasn't too concerned about making a block out of something that's only going to be inserted twice. I figured, ah, it's, it's not worth the time. With Blockify, it's worth the time. Because now I turned all of these into blocks, and I have to admit that these were actually all exploded. These were little twist um, spindles here, and taking up a lot, of, a lot of space in that drawing because they were just individual instances, which can happen very easily in a drawing. You might array it, and then for whatever reason, you explode it. Maybe you want to put objects on the right, proper, on the right layer, and you don't want to deal with editing the block reference or something. So a lot of reasons you might do that. But without me even thinking, I just used Blockify, and within less than a second, it took this drawing, it figured out what all the things are that are duplicated somewhere in the drawing, and it turned them into blocks. You can see here, now I've got, I had 900 individual ref, um, objects previously, solids. Now I have 790 blocks. Let's see what that means. I'm going to go ahead and save this drawing. Let me just save it to a different name so I don't override my original one. And we'll go back to the, the Layout tab. And if we see the size there, so it brought it, was, it was one command that I used. Really, I just used Lockify, hit all the, the defaults, and it brought my drawing size from 11 megs down to 2 megs. Okay, So really impressive, great tool.